Hello there, I'm KG. Welcome back. I am doing a uh, attempting a do, to do another pearl pour using Bear Marquee uh, Satin Enamel Deep Base. Um, that is mixed into my silver, which is Artist Law Silver. And it is mixed about one part silver paint to two parts of the Bear Marquee. And then it is mixed to a fairly thick consistency with Floetol and water. You can see it makes a bit of a mound. Hopefully you can see. Um, and then I've got black. I've got the Brilliant Blue from Liquidex Basics. And I've got Dioxazine Purple from Liquidex Basics for my background paint is what it will end up being. So this was the previous previous acrylic pour, or pearl pour rather, that I did with the Bear Marquee. And um, I did get the pearls, as you can see but because I allowed it to dry on a slant, it messed things up. So well, I'm gonna hopefully not do that this time. My canvas is level, <laughs> as you can see. All right, so I'm gonna start by layering my colors. I don't, I want black mainly on the outside. Although the last time I said that, that's not how it worked out, <laughs> but that's okay. So, yeah, so we'll do a little bit of blue. Not overly concerned about, oh, that came out quickly about how my paints are layered here. Um, my, I should have said my Background paints are mixed about two to one flow troll to water, and there and then water or flow two to one flow troll to paint, and then water to thin. You can see they're quite thin; they don't make a mound at all. Silver, how that silver cap. Okay, now I'm going to pour my silver on. So last stir here. Make sure my consistency is where I want it. After your paints sit for a bit, they do tend to thicken up a little. So I always like to do a double check on the consistency and the stir before I do the pouring. Three ounces of this paint here. In total. Yeah, I think I have enough. <laughs> All right, and here we go. Stop right in the center. Don't know if there's a point to doing that because the colors are also mixed up anyway. You want to move the paint fairly quickly in this type of pour. And you want it to roll over the silver and then back to the center. Okay, that ended up being mostly black. <laughs> it's just kind of a blob in the center right here. But you can see my silver pearls are starting to come up already. Don't 
torch off. Oh. I wonder if my silver was too thin, even even as thick as it was. I'm getting a lot of commingling between the silver here and the other colors. the center and see if I get any other color tempted to. Mm, I don't think I'm going to though. Reminds me of a black hole with silvery stars. Huh. Okay, well, we'll leave it for a few minutes and then I'll bring it back. Hey you guys, <clears throat> I am back with the painting after a few minutes or 10, 10 or so minutes and I'm kind of a dummy. While the camera was off, I <clears throat> tilted it all again off this edge here because I was worried there was too much paint on it because the cells weren't growing and in reality I should have just waited because you can see these cells all grew. But that's okay, I still think it looks really cool. Um, can I ever just leave well enough alone, can I? Um, yeah. Anyway, I will bring you back when it's dry, okay? Hey guys, here is the dry result. I think it turned out pretty cool. Lots of teeny tiny little cells, so I think I, I need to try to make it even thicker. I don't think I made it thick enough this time. Certainly not as thick as I intended to make it, the silver that is. Um, I do really like here how you can see a little bit of the light blue in the pearls. I think that's pretty neat. And I think it was probably because it was so thin and also because the deep base, because it has no pigment, makes the color it's mixed in with a little bit more transparent because the pigment has to stretch. So that's something to consider. Um, yeah, I think it turned out good though. Thanks for watching. Bye.